Okay, David. I am here at the uh, Fox Lake condo. That's the parking situation. This is your parking spot where my white truck is. Short little staircase right into the unit here. Sidewalk right to the front door. So you park right next to your house. It's a nice, lightly landscaped, but you know, everything's freshly mowed, everything's freshly painted. It's your neighbor above you. I'll take you over to the back side here. 5761A, which is you, it's right here. Looks like there's another unit over there, and then this unit here, which probably make up your association. You can see here they have a door to their back fence. The one over there has a door and this one has a door. Your unit does not have a door. So for some reason they wanted their privacy and did not, uh, they clearly closed in the door. Now you could have that reproduced if you wanted access to your backyard. Okay. Let me take you on inside here. <coughs> Tucked underneath your front entryway is the neighbor's air conditioning unit, which is new, and yours, which is not new. I am saying, without a doubt, it's comfortable inside. Air conditioner's running just fine but you are gonna to need to replace your air conditioner. There's the front door, freshly painted, everything's in good shape. That is the lock that does not work. I'm certain you're gonna wind up having to replace both of these, David. It's just something you'll have to do. The seal is good. It's a brand new door, freshly painted. And then we step inside your main living area, vinyl plank flooring, gray, it's got the uh, four inch molding, so that's, that's new molding. They've done a nice job laying this floor, the place is dirty, it needs, it, it hasn't been cleaned. <coughs> There's your front door. Your main wall, I'm assuming that's probably where you would put your TV and entertainment system. Your window to the little back area. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a small cough. There's your back area there. Uh, it's, it's grown in with dirt. It's going to need to be cleaned. Single pane glass window. You're going to wind up having to take this screen over to Ace Hardware and get a new screen made because it's ripped. Uh, window's in good shape, it functions. Uh, it looks like this place has been freshly painted white, but honestly, David, I think you're gonna have to give this entire place a coat of paint. Uh, the paint doesn't really match on the ceilings. All the doors seem like they've been replaced. The molding's been replaced, the new flooring. I think it's gonna clean up just fine. <coughs> You'll probably have to caulk some stuff in here, I've noticed. But uh, as you walk in the front door, this little closet area, there's a brand new closet door. It's unsnapped up at the top, which is just fine for purposes of me showing you what's in here. This is a beautiful door. I mean, it's in good shape. But here's your water heater. It basically looks brand new. It looks in great shape. Looks like they've done everything they're supposed to do with that water heater. The air conditioner on the other hand, it's running. It's not overly loud. It's a rude. <clears throat> but this thing looks old, old, old. So your electrical connection, your piping that would lead to the outside the coils, all that, it, you know, this whole unit's going to wind up getting replaced. So you got to factor that in. 
Um, again, I think the price is right, so you've got the money to do it, but that's new, that's old. You saw the outside unit's old. At some point in time, when you get tired of that, you'll wanna get that replaced, okay? Again, you know, dirt marks on the wall. If you can see the ceiling right in here, you know, there's paints, fresh paint, original paint. I don't know what that is, but yellow staining on the ceiling. <coughs> I don't, I don't know what that is, David. I, I, I can't tell if that's the original paint and then they paint it over with new white paint here. I can't tell. I mean, it's the same color paint that's on this wall right here. Actually, that's some fresh mud. They've, they've done drywall work in here. I just, I just think you just have to know that when you come in here, the whole place gets painted. Here you've got one of those old boob lights. I'm sure you could probably stick a ceiling fan there if you wanted to. You've got your old vents. You know, you could probably get the Home Depot and unscrew that, put something cleaner, nicer looking in there and give it a little cleaning. Um, but I'm, I'm standing right here and I can, I can feel the cold air blowing out of there. So it's blowing ice cold. You know, your little breakfast nook area, your dining table area. <coughs> and then into the kitchen, you got some spots where you could put some bar stools if you wanted to. I've seen people that don't use bar stools here put lower cabinets in there all the way across for extra storage. So there's a possibility there. You know, I don't think there's anybody that loves these. You know, they don't have this thing wired for lighting. So somehow you have to get creative. I mean, obviously anybody can hang a light like this, but you know, you'll have to figure that out. Okay. It's a nice big open area here, plenty of room. Hold on to Lanai. This Lanai door works very well. One finger. You know, obviously this is an old Lanai door, but they have the they have the little burglar bar and a, <coughs> a stoppage bar down there too. So that's good. They have this little vertical blind that's it's in good shape it's clean so it works that's nice they got some kind of valence up there i don't know what that's for but looks a little ugly you step out onto the porch it's tiled it's in good shape then you have your your lanai screening and as i mentioned before you know this is all old and threadbare it's got rips in it so i mean it's adequate you could move in and, and you'd be fine but at some point in time you're going to want to have probably somebody come out here and rescreen this or do it yourself the door is going to need a new um piston put on and then of course there's no screening here <coughs> you do have an outlet out here my guess is that you could have some GFCIs put out here. It'd be nice. And then, you know, whatever they've got going on in here, I don't know what this is all about, but it's a combination, it looks like, of old dirt, mulch, weeds. Uh, it looks like the other people have, like, rock installed, so it's all clean. But you got some work to do out here. Fence is in good shape. You know, this is going to take some work to get it cleaned up. Little, little spot over there maybe for a plant or something this storage shed right here is nice it's in great shape brand new doors brand new locks you have a, a hose bib out here um, these are steel fire doors it's nice that looks to be two foot by six foot storage here you know, maybe throw a bike in there, maybe a kayak or something. Okay. okay. Popcorn ceilings. 
that can be addressed. There's another one of those old vents. Okay. But this needs paint. You can see we're two colors of paint. It's like they're two separate colors. It's weird. It doesn't look like water damage at all though. I'm, I'm not seeing that. It's just different colors. Master bedroom. This is old. So my guess is if you upgrade the air conditioner, you put a nice little digital thermometer in there, thermostat. This, I've taken a picture of, David. This panel. It says Gould. You can also research this. Gould GQ16. Looks like an I-T-E indoor. Okay, you want to look that up. I'm going to look it up as well, but I'm guessing that this is going to need to be replaced, okay? I, I'm just, I got a hunch that this is one of these service panels that is going to need to be rewired with, with one that's going to pass code. I'm thinking that this service panel is not going to pass code, okay? There's a few out there that have been recalled. And that's, I mean, the last one I had on a condo was like $1,800 to have that done. So, and that'll be on the four point. If we have this house inspected and that doesn't pass, then that's a negotiation point, okay? So I don't think you have to worry about that in your price because it's priced very fairly. But if it doesn't pass, it means you can't get it insured. And uh, then we go after them and we just say, hey, we want... 50% or we want the whole thing done and just see what they say. So you step into the kitchen. We've got quartz countertops. They've done a really nice job here. Um, that's got the Lazy Susans in it. There's a garbage grinder underneath here. This is all clean underneath here. And the house is dirty. Hold on. Let me get my big hands out of the way. The house is dirty. You know, they got all crap underneath here, but you know, there's no leaks. You know, the piping's clean, so I'm happy about that. Um, I don't know what kind of dishwasher this is off the top of my head. Whirlpool. Whirlpool. Okay, that looks brand new. Doesn't even look like it's ever been used. Whirlpool. Yeah, this has never even been used before. Quartz countertop, this is a spice rack. Room for spices, soft clothes. That opens up, it's missing a cabinet knob. That opens up, that does not open up because it would hit the stove. Mm -hmm. This one opens up, so it's, this one needs a knob. Drawer for your forks and knives. More storage down there. Quartz, brand new stove. Looks like they got the room for the microwave. That is old, so you know you may want to consider that putting a new one in there works, but it's venting out into the apartment, into the unit, so it doesn't vent somewhere. And of course you have these um, shop lights underneath there. Looks like one's broke here. You'd have to go to Home Depot and get another one if you were going to continue to use those. Or just get rid of this whole thing. Put some uh, molding around in there. Drop those out and put your can lights. Those LED can lights in here would look really nice. Here you have a new vent. Okay, so at some point in time, they did some drywall work in here. That's, I see some of the evidence on the other side. That's all fresh drywall. This is brand new. So they've done drywall work in this kitchen as they remodeled. You know, there's drywall dust all in here. So they just did the work and left. You know, this is a ham and egg whirlpool refrigerator. Your basic, nothing fancy here, but it's brand new or gently, gently used. 
clean, no smells, no odors. Looks like everything works perfectly nice. You got room for a larger one in here, but I mean, this is, this is good. Uh, looks like here's the, here's the piece of glass that goes up in here. And then you got your uppers. You've got these walnut, walnut uppers. I'm guessing you could paint these white and coordinate them here. I'm also making a huge assumption that you could paint these white, remove these, take them to a cabinetry shop and have those same type of doors matched up top and kind of get that white on white with the same door look without replacing all these. But again, this isn't a terrible job to just replace one, two, three, four, five, five uppers. Okay. Uh, you're on a concrete pad, this flooring, there's no, I haven't felt any issues with the flooring. Um, you know, so here you have a linen closet right off the kitchen. You know, you could put some food items and things like that in there. Okay. New doors, yeah, new doors. <laughs> master bedroom. Nice large master bedroom. You've got those same vertical blinds that could come down. And you could put something a little cleaner, a little nicer. Nice large closet that looks to be about eight feet by two feet. There's your old, old vent. It would look nice to put a new one in there. It would also look nice to get rid of this popcorn ceiling. Um, it's in good shape, but it's a popcorn ceiling, right? And then uh, into your master bathroom area, which is nice. I mean, they've got the same matching cabinet, same quartz countertop, no mirror there. You could hang a mirror. Um, I've replaced these before. These just come out with four, four screws, two there and two there. Whole thing pops out. It fits in between the studs. You put a new one in, so you could upgrade that if you wanted to. Lighting's new. Get an old air conditioning vent. Blown cold. Modern faucet. Good pressure. I've already tested the sinks. They drain well. Okay. Again, very clean underneath here. Nothing to be overly concerned about. No leaks, no drips. Okay. Again, just dirt. Sand, dirt. Uh, here's a closet here. Again, new doors. All the doors match throughout the house. Two feet by six feet. So plenty of closet space in here. Okay. And then into your, your bathroom. New toilet. Uh, the hookups look new. Uh, I flushed it a bunch of times. It works great. There's not a lot of light in here. Here's your light. Old school. I suggest you you know, budget in two, three hundred dollars from Home Depot and get yourself a really nice, like, Bluetooth bathroom vent light that would brighten this up in here. Uh, your tub, that all drains good. I checked it. You got your subway tile. It's all in great shape. This looks like this has all been redone. Okay. Needs paint, though, again. Got scratches on the paint. There's some red paint there. I don't know what that's all about, but this all needs to be painted. Small little old style vent that could be updated. Blowing ice cold underneath it. And then you get here, and there's this little four, you buy fold closet door here, okay? This is in your bathroom. So these open. This opens. My guess is that you would have to remove this door, take it out, 
remove the pins in this. And here's your hookup for your washer and your dryer. Okay. It's not big, so you're not putting a gigantic washer and dryer set in here. But you can go get yourself a normal sized washer and dryer in there. There's your hookups, your vent to the outside, outlet, little storage right up there that you could redo. And it's all in nice shape. But that's in the bathroom. I don't think you're getting that machine in here past the toilet and whatnot without removing these doors, getting that in and then putting it back together. But that's it. I mean, this is probably one of the nicer ones we've looked at, David. So I wouldn't hesitate to tell you to write an offer in on this one. <coughs> For sure. All right, I'm going to get back to the office and download this and get this sent to you, okay?